are currently on 1.8.1 because we have actually got two add-ons installed right now. We have a resource pack, which is Faithful, which I'm not going to be using every episode for those of you who are wondering, and we also have Optifine 1.8.1 installed, which is the reason I'm not on any more recent version. So anyway, welcome to another hardcore. Done a bit of work since the last episode, um, because I haven't been uploading hardcores, which is kind of sad. I should be, because this is my favorite series. I absolutely love this series. I cannot get another enough of it. Also, I've made this um, oh, frame rate. Man, my frames are being horrible. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna fill in that with glass. And um, anyway, I've made this place look a little bit more homey. Um, yeah, not too bad. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'm definitely gonna move these bookshelves. In fact, I think I'll do that this episode. Um, I even have my axe on me, so shouldn't be too bad. We get all our books back, even though we don't get the wood, so... Oh well. I'm gonna have, like, a special area for it. Um, later. Ah, uh, frame rate. Stupid frame rate. Mob spawner's working, which I'm happy with. In fact, I think we'll do a, try and do a level 30 enchantment, because, guess what, guys? I have gotten editing software, meaning I can clip multiple videos together. Meaning I can do this video in clips if I want to. And I think I'm gonna get a few things set up later. And, um, I mean, like, I think later in the episode I'll cut off and, uh, have, like, and then, like, uh, skip over to me doing a level 30 enchantment because I kind of want to, well, that was really close, um, get an enchanting system set up. And yes, I do have Optifine. Um, I really like the zoom feature. Um, also, just a sec. I've made these things faster. Now, um, I'll give you just a quick rundown on how to do that in a minute. Um, I've also done it to this one. Um, it's really nice, and I like it. Um, well, actually, I think I'll show you. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, try and find a creative world. Um, got the craft and play, test. Um, let's do this world. No, it's a super flat world, and I can't test it here. Oh, well. Um, Basically, the way I did it is, you get two pistons, um, some redstone, you're gonna need redstone, uh, torches, just so you know. Take a piston like this, and this, and then place this, put some stone like that, then you take your redstone, and you do this, um, torch on each side like this. And then you've got yourself a T flip flop. Now what this is is it um, way it works is like it sends out a it converts a button pulse into like a lever thing. And oh man, sorry guys, the recording cut off. So we're gonna yeah I'm gonna have to use my editing software. But yeah, like it does that and uh, take the redstone, do this. So then whenever the block is over like that, it powers the redstone because the redstone current from the torch travels through that block, and you can toggle it. Anyway, the way, the way I have it is not on a super flat world, but basically, like, I have it underground, and, um, like, deep under, like, uh, slightly underground. In fact, um, let me show you, uh, back on the hardcore world. Um, over here, we're gonna get a bit of frames, because my computer is being stupid. Um... Wow, one frame. Yeah, I think I may have corrupted the world, actually. Let's see if I can get out of this. Ah, I think I'm stuck. Okay, the recording cut off there because, like, I, Minecraft ran out of memory and it was stupid. But anyway, let's try heading back onto the world and hope that I didn't corrupt it. And no, I do not appear to have corrupted it. I don't think it saved from that long, long last time, but I don't really care because I didn't do anything. Anyway, back to the discussion of topic, or whatever you'd say. Um, you go down here, basically I have it set up so that you push the button, and it sends out the redstone current through here, at which point it um, hits this torch, which we'll explain in a sec. Basically the way I used to have it is, um, like there's just redstone there, so when I hit it, it just it triggered it, and sent the pulse, which would uh, trigger this torch, and activate and deactivate the... Um, uh, and allow me to do that to the iron door at will. But um, what I've done to it is, um, with this torch inversion thing, 
Um, basically, if you um, have a torch, let me show you on the creative world. Um, if I can get out of there. Um, that creative world. Uh, basically, if you have like um, a redstone torch connected to it, or some sort of uh, continuous pulse fin to it, disconnect it, it triggers the T flip flop almost immediately. Um, yeah, like way faster than using the normal button was. Because, like, you'd have to wait and stuff. So, basically, like, what I have it done is, um, again, back to the hardcore world. Um, basically, like, it would, um, disable that torch and cause it to go instantly, which would makes it a bit faster. And then when it's done, it uninverts the torch, sends the signal back, and I can re the, repeat the process. So, yeah, that's, I just, I guess I, um, thought it was time for me to do a tutorial of that, because, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, because, like, I don't think any of you really cared about how it worked, but I still wanted to share it with you guys. Um, uh, let's see. Yep, works pretty fast. Uh, let's see. And, of course, it works from here, too, which I prefer over the original design I had for it, which was pretty cool if you think about it. Because, um, like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, it was, like, really big and stuff, and, uh, oh man, framey, framey, um, like, it was really big, um, and, it, like, it covered up this entire front area, which I hated, so yeah, I redid it, and now it looks presentable, and it works really efficiently, um, uh, it's win-win, um, let's see, um, put away this stone pickaxe, I don't know why I was keeping that on me, um, put away this, um, put away the bread, this, this, here we'll do the enchanting thing later um yeah also one more thing about this world that i've done is um uh basically like i've changed the name for it um uh, the name used to be youtube i guess the original name sort of stays right there um because that's the original name for it but early but like a couple days ago um i decided to rename it hardcore um copy of hardcore no i Cancel. Rename. That's like that's how you change the name. But I guess when you do that, it, um, the it, the original name stays right there. So yeah, I thought that was a bit interesting. Um, hopefully I didn't corrupt the world when I did that. But um, yeah, this world is acting really weird. Um, I don't know. Um, man, I think I real legitimately have messed up the world. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to cut off again. Oh dang. Yeah, I think I really have corrupted the world. I'm gonna have to try and fix it, or just load it back up, I don't know. <sighs> Let's see, can I get out of this? Um, yeah. Alright, hey guys, sorry, um, the world, the world may have corrupted, I'm not sure at this point, but for right now it's acting okay. Um, see, yeah, it's been, it's been a bit framey lately though, which is kind of scaring me. Um, let's see, um, I want to keep that door open, because if I start, if, like, my world corrupts entirely, then I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get out, um, at all, um, going to make sure my seed's out there, because I'm kind of afraid I'm going to lose the world completely, uh, let's see, uh, oh yeah, actually I should leave the door open. Because, like, if I try to open it while well, the world's corrupt, because at this point I'm still not completely 100% sure that it isn't corrupted. Um, yeah, this is kind of freaking me out. This is freaking me out, everyone. Uh, and, though, it's a bit weird, because, like, I've never corrupted a world before. I don't know how, really what causes it, but, like, I think not saving properly messes up the world, so, yeah. Oh well, I'm sure that there's some way I can fix the world, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm sure it won't be too bad. Actually, I think from now on I'll keep the axe on me just in case. Just I'll have it, like, um, not in the hotbar at the same time. Uh, well, anyway, um, I'm 
sure it won't be too bad. Uh, yeah, so far we've been fine. So, um, yeah. I don't know. It's just, um, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Um, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Because, um, yeah, I'm a bit... I know I have a ba I do have a backup, but it's really outdated. Like, it's kind of scary, because if I lose the world and I don't have a backup... Like, I can't back it up now, because I'll just get the corrupted version. Like, the file that the backup will be corrupted, too. So, yeah, ho hopefully if the world completely corrupts, I won't have to go with the backup. Because it's really outdated, and uh, that's annoying basically um and uh yeah it's um really all i have to say and uh where my seeds go and um i need to get some more um i suppose next episode i'll tell you guys what's happened um still um if the world does corrupt um and uh, I can't repair the world. Um, I'm probably not going to use the backup because it's so out of date. I'll probably just start a new world completely, or maybe even start like a different. Not do it. Maybe do like a normal survival series, or I don't know. Um, I'll think of something though, because like my uh, this world gets really framey now. I don't know if it's because of all the times that my computer's like improperly closed out of Minecraft or what, but it happens a lot and. Um, it, I think it may have actually had an impact on the world, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, see you next episode. Uh, bye.